So, CP, the big news of the week, uh, besides Kyrie, was Julius Randle being named an all-star. So how do you best characterize his turnaround? Incredible, Michelle. Uh, an all-star appearance well-deserved for Julius Randle, the second of his career. When you look at career highs in points at 25 points per game, rebounds at 11 rebounds per game. His free throw attempts are up, a career high at seven. So he's being very aggressive. He's attacking the basket. His shot diet has changed from last year. He's operating more within a 10 to 16 foot range. He's taking less long twos, which is a little bit less desirable in today's NBA, and opting to shoot more threes. His three-point attempts are up at about eight, three three-point attempts per game. Now, he doesn't have as much responsibility in the offense this year. That belongs to Jalen Brunson, and that has taken a lot of pressure off of Julius Randle. But as Julius Randle noted in the Knicks' win over the Heat on Thursday night, his mental approach has changed from last year. The coaching staff challenged him to be a much better leader, to be a better teammate. Last year was, was a lot of turmoil for Julius Randle. He got into it with the fans. He had a contentious relationship with his teammates and the referees, a very combustible personality. But this year, He's channeled his energy to on-the-court performance, and it's paying dividends for the team right now. It really is great to see. But the trade deadline uh, is coming up on Thursday. We've heard rumors about Sadiq Bey and OG Ananobi. Who do you think yeah. would fit better? For the Knicks, I'm going to go with OG Ananobi, a 3-and-D wing at six foot seven. He can guard three positions, shooting the three ball at 36% from three. This is a league that prizes three and D wing players. When you look at the East, at Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Kevin Durant, Giannis Attentacumpo, you need someone that's going to be able to not, you can't stop those guys, but to be able to slow those guys down. And OG Ananobi is the guy that I would tab there for the Knicks, a prototypical Tom Thibodeau player. Well, back in the summer, there was some hesitation to include guys like uh, Grimes top in quickly in trades. Now, would you be comfortable with the Knicks, including one of those guys in a trade? You know, Quentin Grimes and Emmanuel quickly are two of the Knicks' best perimeter players. They are Tom Thibodeau's guys. It's their perimeter defense that led to uh, R.J. Barrett's benching in the Knicks' loss to the Lakers on Tuesday, which R.J. Barrett wasn't too happy about. So those guys have been serving prime roles for Tom Thibodeau's defense. I think it's Obi Toppin that could be the odd man out of this rotation when you look at Julius Randle's all-star play and the fact that Tom Thibodeau does not like to play small lineups he likes to go with the traditional center at the five Obi Toppin has kind of been buried in this rotation for the last three years I don't see the Knicks getting much value out of this draft pick and I think he could be the odd man out come the offseason